Okay, uh, here we have a, a brand new uh, Toshiba satellite P855S5200 and it's a core i7 processor, it's a brand new laptop. The problem we ran across on this computer is that it doesn't run the software that uh, we, the customer actually has from this old computer and it's a 32-bit uh, uh, version of software and this <clears throat> this computer comes with 64-bit so um, the problem with these we can't change the booter we're going to reprogram the computer and this video is just to show you how to uh, boot up to the CD uh, change the boot order go into CMOS whatever you need to do so if you press the power button on these models um, and you press the F12 key F2 key nothing happens it doesn't allow you to do that it actually comes up with the windows boot manager and that's all it does it actually doesn't let you um, get into CMOS you don't even see the Toshiba Toshiba logo appear which is on the older models previous models you could actually hit F12 the option comes up because you can see the Toshiba logo with this version it just pops right up and bypasses that so uh, what I'm going to show you guys is this is very simple so in case you need to reprogram your computer uh, but before you do any of that make sure to create your restore CDs in case you need to restore the computer back to factory uh, settings uh, that means uh, it's five CDs that you'll be DVDs that you'll be creating so uh, <clears throat> what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shut down the computer So we'll turn it off and the trick to get it into uh, CMOS for uh, setup or to change any, any settings on the BIOS it's F2 that you hold down for boot order you press F12 so I'm just going to show you the first thing you need to do is hold the F, F12 key down with, you, with uh, your left hand uh, or right hand whatever it's up to you and then press the power button and as it turns up you're gonna see the Toshiba now notice how that that option comes up and I have you have to click on it twice in order for it to get into the uh, notice it's entering boot device selection now so now we have the Toshiba logo so now we should come up to the boot menu so, okay so now we select the DVD which is what we want and now we press any key and now we're gonna now it's booting from the CD itself notice Windows it's loading files so that's all you do now if you want to do uh, set up you do the same thing you can actually just hold either the F2 or F12 key down um, if you have questions regarding this model please subscribe to the channel and post your, your comments and somebody will reply back to your comments do not call us we will not help you over the phone again do not give us a call subscribe to the channel post your question and somebody will reply back to your comment if you subscribe if you do not subscribe to the channel and post a question your comment will be deleted, okay?